Operating by God's wisdom, no devil stands in your way because no devil can stand the power of the wisdom of God. They will attack, but wisdom will crush them. Are you understanding me? Now, did you hear the testimony of our brother that he gave? That's why I'm saying that we are going to let them break it into detail for you to know exactly the steps. He's not there because he's intelligent. He's there because the wisdom of God is keeping him there. Those people could have gotten rid of him just like that. Are you understanding me? They could have done it within one day. But the wisdom, there is a wisdom of God that is operational in him. And you cannot approve the wisdom of God. You can't. Even let, let the overall boss of the company join them. They can't. If worse come to worse, God will remove them from there. You know, that's very easy for me. The Bible says, he's the one that put people on the throne, and he's the one that removed them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You see, the wisdom of God is the word of God. And so when we are talking of the power of God's wisdom, we are talking of the power of the word that is operational in you. And that is what the devil cannot stand. And so, it is very sad that today people don't even talk about God's wisdom. They don't talk about wisdom. They are only talking about killing witches. They are only talking about casting this, this demon here, this demon there, and all those things. Like, you know, for the past week, those of us that have been coming to the Bible studies, how we have studied about the three components of man. Man is a spirit, he has a soul and lives in the body. We have come to understand a lot of demon casting is funny. Are you understanding me? Because you can never cast a demon from somebody who is born again. When you get born again, no demon can possess your spirit. And when we are talking of you, we are talking of the spirit man. That's the real you. The body is just a, a house you live in. The real you. So when you get born again, nobody can cast any demon out of you. Your spirit is born again. It is settled. But the mind is not born again. The soul is not. Uh, the soul is not redeemed. The flesh, the body is not redeemed. So that is where the battle is. So the devil can oppress your mind. He can. He can afflict your body, but he cannot possess you. So you learn to bring your flesh, your body, under the subjection. Of the spirit and bring your mind in line with the word of God, and the devil has no place anywhere in you. That is why Jesus said, Here comes the devil, but he has no place in me. Because my soul, my body is all for my father, it is serving God, it's not, for, uh, it's not fornicating, it's not committing sin, it's not indulging in things that are not pleasing to God. So the devil has no place in me. A lot of people are in the church, but they have opened wide the door to the devil into their mind and into their body. And not knowing a lot of them are always sick. That will not be your story, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so the reason why God wants to give us the spirit of wisdom is to enlighten us. Is to enlighten us. Church, remember who you are. Are you understanding me? You are a solution to the problems in the world. You are a light to darkness and so you need to be enlightened to become that light and it is by the spirit of wisdom that that will happen i see you becoming the light in jesus name amen i see you as a light to darkness in the name of jesus amen. glory be to god amen. glory be to god and so wisdom is the principal thing is the principal thing because it will make us to understand the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. When you come into that realm of revelation, when you understand the power of God at work, ah, <laughs> every devil will clear off your way. When you come to that level, when you understand the power of God at work, when you understand the power of God that is at work, I'm not talking of guessing. I'm not talking of contemplating. I'm not talking of assuming. I'm talking of being in the light where it is so real like the chair you are sitting on. So that when you see the devil coming, you smile. You say, this devil is, is finished. You coming to meet me? 
with all this power backing me. You see, so it is lack of revelation of what we have that makes people run around. And wisdom is what opens us up to that. I see you flying by the wisdom of God. Amen. I said, I see you flying by the wisdom Amen. of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So wisdom will enlighten us. It will enlighten us. It will enlighten us. And it comes by the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit begins to teach you wisdom, you cannot doubt it. I mean, the Holy Ghost can't teach you something that you won't understand. <laughs> if man is teaching you, you can be confused. But if the Holy Ghost is teaching you, you can be confused. He's, he's the one and only perfect teacher. The one that will make one mistake. It's not in him. Even if he wants to make a mistake, he can't. Because everything he will do will be perfect. So when he teaches you, he enlightens our understanding to know what God has in store for us. He will bring you into that realm of revelation. Where you would know it. You are not guessing. You are not, you are not assuming it. You, you really know it is, it is so real. It is light. You see it. And so you confidently walk in it. Like I have said, nobody doubts what he can see. So when you come to the realm in the spirit where you can see what God is saying, doubt is destroyed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I curse every spirit of doubt in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So wisdom will educate our mentality. It will educate our mentality so we can enter into the realm of productivity. Let me tell you, whatever thing you are engaged in, whatever business you are doing, whatever endeavor you are in, there is a better way to do it. But it will only come by the wisdom. Are you understanding me? If you are going to operate by this spirit of wisdom, wherever you are working, you become so outstanding that if you tell them you are living, they will beg you. Are you getting the point? You know, it, it will make you creative. As long as you are there, there will never be any problem that will not be solved. See yourself like that. And, 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 and pay the price to receive it. Like I've always said, make time for God's word. Spend time in the presence of God. Ask him for the spirit. Don't go ask God for material things. Ask him for the spirit of wisdom because it is wisdom that created everything. So when that spirit is in operation in me, everything will come. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 